Yeah, you gotta suck my dick to get up in the belly room. I'm making call for you. That's the that's the fucking gateway into coming to Hollywood. Everybody knows that. How many girls did you have to do that? Oh, 20 of them. <laughs> yeah. Cat Williams called out at the beginning of the year that there was going to be some pretty crazy revelations this year, and all this stuff was going to come out, and it's going to shock everyone. So far, it feels like he was right, and it seems people are becoming less and less willing to excuse this kind of behavior. And just remember, you can't use the excuse that these things happened years and years ago and therefore it doesn't matter. There are some limitations on civil actions, and a lot of what Harvey Weinstein did and Bill Cosby did, even the current investigation into P. I I mean, look what happened to Louis C.K. He got dropped from all of his sponsors, all his deals got cancelled, and compare what he admitted to doing to what Joey Diaz admitted to himself. I don't know, guys. I'm a fan of Joey Diaz just as much as the next guy. I think he's pretty funny on podcasts, but not so much on stage, which seems to be the way with most of Rogan's buddies. But we've got to be consistent with this stuff. Being funny isn't an excuse for being a predator. He's claiming he found the right path and he loves his comedy family and all of that. So why is he bragging about how he would use and abuse the very same comedy family when he was on his way up to the point where he apparently broke some young comic? Anyway, that's my take on the whole Joey Diaz situation. Let me know in the comments below what you think about all this. And if you're not a regular of this channel, hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.